Hey everyone, this is Gigi Shirley here and I got another video for you guys. So for this video, I want to focus on the newly released pastel collection or pastel bundle from the Holo Taco brand. So when I actually received the Holo Taco pastel bundle in the mail, I opened it up and I just fell in love the colors. These colors just go really really well with each other. So I actually water marbled my nails and they look great. And honestly the coverage looks really really good. So I can't really complain about the colors. It's definitely a mark of quality from, from Holo Taco for sure. So what I wanted to get into this video is just I wanted to do an interesting kind of experiment. Since I've already painted my nails as you can see here, I wanted to paint something else with the Holo Taco pastel collection so what exactly is it since we are going into the spring season real quick and also easter is coming up i was actually thinking why not paint eggs not just regular paint i was thinking of using the pastel nail polish that i received in the mail so i'm not going to be using regular eggs just because like the surface and the size is too big so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using Whale eggs. I actually have six of these in total that I have not used specifically, well, coincidentally because I had them left over from cooking something. So I'm actually going to be using these kind of like an experiment or a test. So keep in mind that this is all in good fun. This is nothing to be taken seriously. This is just like for my entertainment and also maybe for yours. So what I'm going to be trying to see is how good is the coverage? from the pastel collection and we'll see. So I'm going to be doing a full coverage if I can of the eggs here and then I'm going to do like little cute little designs and then we'll see from there. So again, I need to reiterate. This is just for fun. So this will be a fun little experiment that I will dub the artsy quail egg test. Hopefully these little quail eggs will give you guys some inspo or some great ideas of what you could put on your nails or maybe even ideas for Easter. So we'll get into it. Okay, so pretty much I got here are my six quail eggs here. I got the package still. I didn't want to throw that out just because I figured that maybe I could just use this little case here so I can, you know, quickly paint them and then just put them in to sit and dry. I got all of my nail polishes set up and pretty much ready to go. I also had my nail art brushes kind of sitting in my closet and collecting dust, so I brought that out. I took about, I think, maybe one or two nail art tools that I needed for this experiment. As you can see, these eggs are pretty much all speckled and have a lot of dark spots. Okay, so the first color is pretty much Pinky Swear, the AKA Pink Pastel Nail Polish, and I put it on and it is a little sheer, which is fine. It did take me a while to actually paint the eggs here just because I didn't really have a holder to hold the eggs in place while I was painting them. So I had to be kind of careful to rotate the eggs while I paint around it. I even had it kind of standing up and then my finger on top of the top of the egg to kind of paint around it carefully. So the first layer wasn't too bad. I can still see some of those speckled spots on the egg there, but overall the coverage was, was good. Uh, not great but good. Again, nail polishes aren't really meant for quail eggs or any other product. It's actually just meant for your nails. And then I move on to Rest in Peach. And I found this one a little more sheer than the pink. Maybe it's just the egg. This egg is actually a little bit darker than the previous egg. So I still, you know, quickly try and paint it. What I did find was that the egg actually kind of had like a sticky kind of moist exterior, possibly because I took it out of the fridge and it still kind of had that kind of moisture from the fridge. I think that's what happened. So when I actually painted it on this egg here or on these eggs here, like they were really, really sticky for some reason. And I think adding nail polish just made it even more tackier. I did kind of end up with some nail polish on my fingers. After painting the egg here with Rest in Peach, AKA the pastel orange nail polish, I thought it was good coverage. Next one up is banana medicine. So the coverage for yellow was, was pretty good. I was surprised. Usually with yellow, it tends to be extremely sheer, very, very transparent, and you gotta put like fucking like five layers. But in this case, it was actually quite opaque, despite the fact that the egg was speckled and had a much more darker shade than yellow. I was actually quite impressed by the coverage with just the first layer. 
So you can see here that the egg was mostly covered. It looks quite nice actually as a little like pastel yellow quail egg. Next up is Crime and Punishment and in terms of coverage, this is on par with I think Pinky Square. Next up is the blue. This one is actually on par with the orange as well in terms of coverage. So far it's more sheer for a blue color. There's something interesting about the blue where like it was a little more pottery. Maybe it's just me or the fact that this egg just could not take the blue or the fact that there was already nail polish residue sticking on my fingers that it took some of the blue off of the egg and then the purple as well overall like the coverage was really really good in this one here but i think it's because the other eggs had big dark spots in them so it's more easier to see and the coverage is better on this one compared to the other five that i used however if i were to compare this to coverage i would say this is i think on par with pinky swear i figured that i would let these dry pretty much because i'm thinking okay the one layer is not enough so I don't think it's quite fair to judge these by just one layer, so I'm gonna do a second layer. Just like when you paint your nails with one layer, you, usually you wanna you know, layer up with a second layer. So I waited for these eggs to dry, and then I just repeated the whole process again. So the second round of Pinky Swear looked pretty good. It actually covered a lot of the dark spots here. I am laying the nail polish a little more thick here. I do wanna see if you can actually cover most, if not the dark spots, of the quail egg and it was pretty good doing the second layer. It was very sticky though, so my hands ended up being really sticky, but you know, it is what it is. So I put it back in its little place there, and then what I would do is that I would paint the top there. Then I moved on to Rest in Peach here, did a second layer. So the orange or the Rest in Peach was a little more sheer, slightly more sheer doing the second layer. And then I painted the top as well, so if you notice here, like you can still kind of see the dark and brown spots. Then I did a second layer of banana medicine and this is quite impressive so especially for a yellow color i mean lighter colors tend to not have very good coverage so the second layer of putting it on there it actually covered it quite quite well i can still see a bit of the dark spots here but overall like i think the yellow really kills it when it comes to opacity and then i moved on to crime and punishment and the second layer was also pretty good there's something about the yellow and, and the green nail polish like the coverage is actually really good like not just the first round, but also the second round as well. It's just even better. When it comes to the opaqueness, I think it's between Pinky Square and then Banana Medicine. That's that's how I see it. And then we got the blue here. The blue looks way better with the second layer on top. Again, this is a very thick layer. Paint that up and it looks much, much better with a second layer on. And lastly, but not least, is Serial Killer. And the coverage was much, much better the second layer around. And it looked pretty good. It actually covered up majority of the little spots. So pretty much I put this and leave it on the side here and make sure it dries up. This took a good, I would say, hour to dry. Once they were dry, I added in the little designs here. So for the little pink one, I wanted to add just like little like dots on there. Like the opaqueness of it is really good. I think it's because the two layers are already put on the egg here. So putting on the little spots here using a dotting tool was quite easy to do. And then I moved on to the second egg and I decided to do a flower design, like a simple one using the same dotting tool. So I made the little centers there and then I decided to kind of put the petals on there. This did take a while though, but not too, too long. Overall, it was very simple and it looks really nice. You can actually see how opaque the nail polish is on top of the rest and peach. I took the third egg and this one was a little bit different. I want to actually sponge on the nail polish. So I took three different colors, put it on a sponge, and then just dab it on. I dabbed on a good amount. I did need to reapply more nail polishes and then did a few more dabbing, but overall, like the coverage is like perfect. And then the fourth one, I wanted to create stars, but I think I kind of fucked it up. So instead of that, I just made these little crosses on there or diamonds, if you guys can see that. And I used a little paintbrush, but there's something about the orange. It just wasn't as opaque as I hoped it to be. So I had to do just the one layer this time and hoped that the second time around that it would look much more opaque. And then I moved on to the blue one, Too Good To Be Blue. And this one here, I wanted to actually water marble it. So this one here, I kind of messed up. 
I, I don't think I did it properly. So what I did was a few more times, so it got really thick. As you can see here, like the coverage is fine with the water marbling. However, you can kind of see like the bumps and the bubbles and the bits from the nail polishes. I think it looks cool. I'm not a fan of like the bumps here. So in terms of coverage, it looked really, really good. In terms of like the mixture of all the colors, I think it looks cool. And then the very last one for serial killer, I decided to use the dotting tool. I think the same one and I create little heart designs. It doesn't quite look the best, but I did what I could with with my skill and with the tools that I had. And the pinky swear, like the little designs looked pretty good. Like it is a thick layer when you're using the dotted tool, but the coverage and the opaqueness looked really good. After some time has passed, I went back to my little crime and punishment egg. I went on and just did another second layer. And the second time around, it was much more opaque and it was a lot more visible seeing like the little cross designs or the little plus signs on there. So once all the eggs were done, I let them dry overnight. The next day is when they were all completely dry. This looks pretty good. I like the pinky swirl with all the little like dots on there. It looks really cute. The orange looked pretty good with all the flowers and the blue really, really stood out and popped out. I quite like this one too. My favorite is actually this one here just because you got the little sponge effect and it's all like a gradient. You can still see the little like sponge kind of textures on there. I actually really like this one. It definitely had the best coverage. Crime and Punishment looks okay. It's not the best, but not the worst. I think I regretted using orange on green. I could have easily used, you know, purple or one of the other nail polishes with a better coverage on there. But I think the designs really popped out and I thought it was alright. The water marble design or the water marble testing looked okay. I can still feel like the ridges and you can definitely see the textures kind of pop up from like the overdosage of water marbling more than once. But it looks kind of cool because you can definitely see all the other colors and it's very very visible like where the separation is with like the yellow and the blue and the orange and the greens for example. And then lastly we got the little hearts here so this one looks pretty good. I like this one here. The kind of the purple and pink it's super super cute and I quite like this one. When it comes to coverage I think there could have been more purple like a third layer would have done it. Okay, and that's pretty much a wrap for all of the quail egg nail polish test. And from my conclusion, they looked pretty good, especially on the second layer. The first layer, you can definitely see that all the nail polishes are sheer. However, there are varying levels of sheerness. I found that the rest in peach was a little more sheer and same with the two good to be blue, a little more sheer on the first layer, yet the rest of the other ones looked less sheer. There is a slight difference, probably like 5-10% difference between those two shades compared to the other four shades. I was quite pleasantly surprised by Banana Medicine and I actually quite like that color. The opaqueness on the first layer was actually really, really good. So I did not expect that coming from a yellow shade specifically. For Crime and Punishment, the opaqueness looked pretty good. The second layer around looked even better. I think Banana Medicine definitely Definitely kills it when it comes to opaqueness for the second layer. It honestly, looks really, really good. I think the one disappointing coverage that I found that the rest in peach and too good to be blue, like the coverage wasn't as good. Not to say that it was terrible. It wasn't completely obvious, but it's definitely noticeable in terms of coverage when it comes to painting the quail eggs. Overall, this this experiment was was pretty fun. It was quite interesting to see how the coverage was. What did you guys think of the experiment? Please let me know. What did you guys think of the designs? What did you guys think of the coverage on these eggs? Please leave comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found this useful in some way or another or informative for you guys. I'll see you guys next time.